I gotta turn this motherfucker around. Okay, so basically the camera's all fucked up anyway. Let me try to get this shit out of here, man, because motherfuckers want me to talk about this motherfucker Kevin Samuels, man. Okay. <clears throat> I got shit to do. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put my little two cents in on this motherfucker, okay? Um, as far as that motherfucker, me and Kevin Samuels, fuck that motherfucker, okay? <laughs> now, that's how I feel about it. Fuck that motherfucker. You feel me? The motherfucker wasn't no more supporting than my motherfucker ass or your ass, okay? Shit, just because his bitch ass was a social media star, fuck that motherfucker. Now what? Okay? Now what you gonna do about it? Okay? Fuck Kevin Samuels, okay? Now. Nah. No, nah, but uh, anyway, man, uh, <laughs> damn, you tripping, man. No, nah, um, that's fucked up, man. You know that the brother, you know, set up there past like that, man. You know, at 56 motherfucking years old, nigga, that ain't that old, man. I'm not damn near, nigga, shit, motherfucker. I be 50 motherfucking years old, nigga, a couple of months, nigga. That nigga wasn't number six motherfucking years older than me. Um, but yeah, man, that's some fucked up shit, though, man. But I'm going to tell you something, man. You know, in the end, brother, all that matter, man, is your good deeds and how you lived your life. All your little punk ass social media and your, your videos and all, none of that shit matters when your bitch ass go to the grave, man. And that's one thing about that nigga Fresco Dime. I know that none of this is going to matter, that I got to face God, okay? Um, I don't know too much about that brother, man, but the thing is, man, was there any talk of God on his page? That's pretty much the question. What was the man's relationship with God, you know? And for people that don't believe in it, man, I'm not going to sit up here and get on, get on the religious shit too much. But I do believe that there's an afterlife, and I do believe how you live your life is where you will wind up after the grave. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I'm still a good person just because I said fuck Kevin. I don't mean, I don't necessarily mean that. Uh, I'm just joking around, man. That's fucked up that the brother dies, man. You know, that's real fucked up. But, you know, it is what it is. That's, it's just going to happen to all of us, nigga. We all got to go, go to the grave, so... You know, but one thing he did leave, man, is he left his motherfucking words and his mind and his and his thoughts online. You know, and that's the one thing that I'm doing, nigga. This is literally an investment in my death, in my own death, because most people, just honestly, listen to what I'm saying, though. Get off of Kevin Sands for a minute, though. The majority of people just go to their grave and they don't leave nothing of remembrance of themselves, okay? I'm investing in my, even though a motherfucker may say, well, nigga, this, this nigga ain't, and grab too tight. Well, he still left some shit. Motherfuckers will still be watching my videos after I die. You know what I'm saying? So I'm 50 right now. I ain't got too much longer to go neither. You know what I'm saying? So, nigga, it is what it is. You know, I made it all the way to 50, my nigga. I made it all the way to 50, bro. And so you can talk that shit all you want, nigga. That nigga broke. He ain't got no money. He ain't got no money. It don't matter. Now, I lived a long life. I, li I lived a long life, dude. I, I didn't die at 25. I didn't die at 35, nigga. I didn't get life in prison. I'm not sitting up in some prison, nigga. I had the three main decades out, nigga. The 20s, the 30s, and the 40s. Those are your most important decades, okay? The 20s, then the party years. The 30s, when you're supposed to get yourself established, okay? That's, a, that, 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 that's pretty much what it is, man. Okay, so I don't give a fuck what happens, nigga, you know what I'm saying? I left my life online, nigga, for my kids and for other motherfuckers to see, bro. You know, so uh, that's fucked up that that happened to that man, man. But, you know, we got to keep on moving on, man. You know, we, lo we lost somebody in the YouTube community, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't got that much of a problem with that nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, he, was, he, he was a factor in the YouTube community, and he, uh, he inspired a lot of people, I guess, you know. So, uh I'm going to say RIP to the brother, man, but let this be a lesson to be learned, man. You know what I'm saying? Your motherfucker death could come on any given day. You think three days before that man died that if somebody, an angel, said you're going to be dead three days, he wouldn't have believed it. He probably had no signs of anything. All of a sudden, it just happened. And you know what I'm saying? I know motherfucker well can happen to me, and it can happen to your bitch ass too. So the best thing we can do right now, man, is prepare for death, man, because it could come on any motherfucking given day.